Struggling to pick the perfect email client for your Mac or iOS device? Today we're breaking down Airmail and Spark in a head-to-head -head comparison to help you decide. Airmail is a powerhouse for customization. Its sleek, modern interface lets you tweak everything, layouts, themes, swipe actions, and more. With features like Snooze, Send Later, and integrations with apps like Todoist and Dropbox, it's perfect for power users. Airmail syncs settings via iCloud across Mac, iPhone, and iPad, but it's a paid app with a one-time purchase or a $9.99 monthly subscription for advanced features. Some users report bugs and slow performance, especially with IMAP accounts. Spark shines with simplicity and team collaboration. Its smart inbox auto sorts emails into personal notifications and newsletters, prioritizing what matters to you. Features like Snooze send later in AI powered email writing boost productivity, and Spark's free version covers basics with a premium plan starting at $4.99 per month for Teams and advanced tools. It's cross platform, including Android, but some users dislike its privacy practices as emails are processed on Spark servers for push notifications. So, how do they stack up? Airmail is king for customization, offering deep control over workflows, making it ideal for solo power users who love tailoring their experience. Spark, however, excels in simplicity and team features with its smart inbox and collaborative tools. Perfect for small teams or those wanting a streamlined setup. Airmail's one-time cost appeals to those avoiding subscriptions, while Spark's free tier is great for budget users. However, Airmail can be buggy, and Spark's server-based approach raises privacy concerns. Choose Airmail if you're a customization junkie managing multiple accounts solo. Pick Spark if you want a free, intuitive client with team collaboration. Both are top tier, so so it's really about what fits your workflow. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you wanted to watch more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.